you are interested for DOST scholarship for academic year 2021 to 2022, here is everything you need to know about the guidelines, qualifications, requirements, privileges, benefits, courses, schools, and schedules. The UST scholarship is among the governing programs which create impact not just to the students but also to the scholars' whole family. It will provide a greater opportunity to talented and deserving Filipino students as they pursue their dreams in the field of science and technology. The UST scholarship programs are particularly structured for potential science and mathematics professionals. There are two categories of scholarship given by the DOST, the RA7687 and the Merit Scholarship. One category is RA7687 Scholarship. Republic Act No. 7687, also known as the Science and Technology Scholarship Act, provides for scholarships to talented and deserving students whose families' socioeconomic status do not exceed the set cut of values of certain indicators. Qualifiers must pursue priority fields of study in the basic sciences, engineering, other applied sciences, and science and mathematics teaching. The last category is the Merit Scholarship. The DOST SEI Merit Scholarship Program formerly known as the NSDB or NSTA Scholarship under Republic Act No. 2067 is awarded to students with high aptitude in science and mathematics and are willing to pursue their careers in the fields of science and technology. Who can apply for the OST Scholarship? Under Republic Act 7687, also known as RA, these are the qualifications. First, you must be natural-born Filipino citizen. Second, the applicant should be talented and deserving students who belongs to a family whose socioeconomic status does not exceed the set values of certain indicators. Third, a member of the top 5% of the non-STEM strand or a member of STEM strand senior high school and graduating this school year 2020-2021. Fourth, the applicant should be a resident of the municipality for the last four years as attested by the barangay. Fifth, the applicant should have a good moral character and in a good health. And lastly, the applicant should be a qualifier of the 2020 Science and Technology Scholarship Examination. On the other hand, these are the qualifications under the Merit Scholarship. First, the applicant should be a natural-born Filipino citizen. Second, a member of the top 5% of the non-STEM strand or a member of STEM strand senior high school and graduating this school year 2020-2021. Third, the applicant should have a good moral character and in a good health. And lastly, the applicant should be a qualifier of the 2020 Science and Technology Scholarship Examination. What are the benefits of the OST Scholar? In a regular academic year, a scholar has 40,000 pesos per school year of tuition and other school fees, 10,000 pesos per year for scholar book allowance, 1,000 pesos for scholar PE uniform, on first semester of first year only, a group health and accident insurance, a one economy class round trip fare for transportation allowance, but it is for students studying outside of their home province, 7,000 pesos per month for monthly living allowance, and 1,000 pesos for scholar graduation clothing allowance. If a scholar's curriculum has a summer class, there is allowance coming from the OST. 1,500 pesos for tuition and school fees, 500 pesos for book allowance and you may submit the official receipt, and 7,000 pesos for two months for a scholar monthly living allowance. 
How to apply the DOST scholarship? Step 1. Fill out completely with the necessary signature the 2020 DOST SEI Science and Technology Undergraduate Scholarship Application Form. These are the forms that the RA7687 to be filled up. These are the forms that the RA7687 to be filled up. First, Form A or the personal information. Second, Form B or the household information questionnaire. Third, Form C or the certificate of good moral and character. Form D1 or the certification that the applicants belong to the SHS STEM strand class. Form D2 or certification that applicants belong to the upper 5% of the non-STEM strand senior high school graduating class. Fifth, the Form A or the statement of the applicant that he or he has not taken any previous DUST SEI undergraduate scholarship examination and any undergraduate units or post-secondary course. Sixth, Form F or the statement of parent that applicant has no pending application as immigrant to any other country. Seventh, the Form G or the certificate of residency. Applicants should have two recent one-by-one -one pictures, photocopy of birth certificate, Parents 2017 Income Tax Return or WZ, Employment Contract for OFW, BIR Certificate of Exemption from Filing of ITR or Barangay Certificate of Indigency. And lastly, the electric bill for three consecutive months. For the Merit Scholarship, you may not submit the following. Form B, Form G, the Parents Income Tax, the electric bill for three consecutive months but you need to pay 200 pesos for the test fee and it is not refundable. Step 2. Submit your complete requirements to DOST, SEI or the regional offices and provincial science and technology centers nearest you on or before August 28, 2020. Step 3. After the confirmation of the forms and documents you submitted, the test permit shall be mailed to the applicant or school principal. In case the test permit is not received within the week before examination day, the applicants may inquire from DOS the regional office and check the nearest designated test center a day before the examination.